Well, leading the center in 1975 was kind of an adventure. The first uh, week I was there, I came to work one morning and found an 18-year-old AWOL Marine hiding under the stairs. And I thought, what's next? <laughs> Often I talked to people who had said that they had dr driven up and down the street, around the block, looking at the word gay center or lesbian and gay center later and thinking, if I park in front of this, you know, what am I, you know, somebody's going to come by, my neighbors will come by or my mother will drive by and they'll see my car. So um, it, it was even hard for people to walk in the front door at, in those days. Every day I came to work, it was going to be something <laughs> different. We had, of course, we had the hotline. We had a speakers bureau. So a lot of it was around educating the non-gay community. And then the other part, of course, was, was dealing with people who were coming out. Every day was an adventure, let's put it that way.